Hello everyone! French cinema has always been known for a unique blend of styles. Today, we will discuss a very fine French director called Jacques Audiard. Let's explore how this French filmmaker has captured the cinematic intensity on screen. Jacques Audiard is a celebrated French film director and screenwriter known for his gripping crime films and compelling character-driven narratives. He's the son of Michel Oliar, a renowned screenwriter. It was the 70s when he started his film career as an assistant editor. At that time, he worked on notable films like Roman Polensky's 1976 horror comedy, The Tenet. Odiar made his directorial debut with See How They Fall in 1994. The film tells two stories, one about a man out for revenge after his friend's murder, and the other about the killers. The film won him a Cesar Award for Best First Film. He kept building his reputation with movies like A Self-Made Hero, Read My Lips, and The Beat That My Heart Skipped. But it was a film called A Prophet, a gangster drama often compared to The Godfather that really put him on the international stage, even earning him an Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Language Film. His characters are known for their deep character studies and exploration of the human psyche, often highlighting marginalized individuals as they explore complex societal landscapes. Oriar frequently tackles themes like identity, survival, and how adversity can lead to transformation with settings that range from urban life to socio-political unrest. His recent 2024 film, Emilie Perez, continues this style, driving and diving into themes of identity, transformation, and morality with a dark, stylized narrative. It's a genre-blending film that follows Rita, a lawyer at a firm famous for defending criminals rather than upholding justice. He also stepped into the American Western genre with the 2018 film, Sisters Brothers. Even though Odier was a French filmmaker with no previous interest in the Western film industry, he was intrigued by the project. The film follows two assassin brothers, played by Joaquin Phoenix and John C. Riley, on a mission during the California Gold Rush. The film's unique feeling comes from its fluid shooting. Interestingly, it includes a memorable final scene that was almost entirely improvised the night before filming. Odia's film has known for their narrative complexity. It often features connected storylines that come together to deliver a powerful message. One of my personal favorites that you should definitely check out is the 2015 film Deepak. The story shows a formal Tamil Tiger soldier who flees Sri Lanka with a woman and child, both pretending to be his family. Together, they seek asylum in France, and the real gritty part arrives when they find themselves caught up in violence in a troubled Paris suburb. Odier delved into themes of identity, survival, and the continuing struggle in a foreign land. On top of that, Odier is also known for his careful attention to sound design. He uses soundscapes to convey the unspoken feeling of his characters. For instance, in Read My Lips, the way he uses silence helps the audience actually experience what it's like for the protagonist to be deaf, giving the story to an even deeper layer. Odier's film always delivers a very realistic, powerful message. His ability to draw out versatile performances from his actors is truly inspirational and adds an intellectual depth to his storytelling. If you enjoyed the discussion, please like and share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.